Welcome to Matt's Metalworking. In this video I'll be showing you how to remove a stuck or seized chuck on a lathe. Since I purchased this lathe, I wasn't able to remove it and I needed a bit more time to look into this a little more. When doing this, disconnect the power on your lathe as a safety precaution. The last thing you want is accidentally hitting the switch and having it turn on. Place a block of wood over the ways. This provides protection when removing the chuck and it's a barrier if the allen wrench flips around. Using an allen wrench, the larger the better. Insert it into the chuck and then tighten the jaws. Larger allen wrenches will be more durable and they'll have less flex allowing you to provide more force when shocking the threads. As you can see, if the allen wrench flips around, the wood will stop it. Also make sure the drive is engaged to provide a little more resistance. Using a strap wrench, wrap it around the pulley on the head stock. With this model of South Bend, the gears can lock, however, it's not intended to be used for such a task. Doing so can risk breaking the gears, and it can be hard to find a replacement beyond having downtime on your lathe. If you wish, a rag can be wrapped around the handle so it doesn't accidentally cause damage. Then using a hammer, for this one I would prefer using a dead blow, which will still provide great force without damaging the allen wrench. As you can see the chuck is now loose. I did find it wasn't giving enough positive shock, so a lead, brass, or ball-peen hammer can be used instead. Another option is using an impact, either air or electric. For this I have a larger allen socket, make sure it's an impact version. If you don't have an allen socket, use a hex bar stock with the appropriate size impact socket, and then remove the chuck. As for a little preventative maintenance to help reduce the chance of it sticking, Make sure the threads are clean from any debris, even use a clean brush on the threads. Then apply a lightweight gear oil. And finally is installing the new component you're switching over to. If you have any tips on removing a stuck chuck, please be sure to share it in the comments below to help out fellow viewers. This concludes the rest of my video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a comment below and throw a like my way. Don't forget to subscribe to my metalworking channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.